So it looks like today we're going to be nice and toasty here at 5 o'clock. Uh, it says we're going to get to 105 here, but I don't see 105. I see that 104 around 4 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to bake cookies. Not in my mailbox because it's too small, but I'm going to try and bake them in my truck. So I've got my truck into position here to take advantage of the sun. It is currently 10 o'clock. Guaranteed it'll be a lot hotter. The only thermometer I have that can withstand this sort of heat is actually this candy thermometer. So we're going to see just how hot my truck gets inside. So yeah, this isn't going to surprise anybody that knows me well, but... I don't actually have all the correct ingredients for that recipe, so instead of almonds, we've already strayed into pecans because I have a bunch of those, and I don't do vegan butter, but I do do butter. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make two batches. I'm going to cook one in the oven and then one in the truck, and we'll see how they compare. Well, the dough actually looks normal. It just occurred to me as I was making this that this recipe doesn't call for eggs. I have to admit, this is the first time I've made a uh, cookie recipe that doesn't use eggs at all. So following the recipe didn't really give me the satisfaction I normally get from baking. So I'm going to make a second batch. I'm going to substitute a tablespoon of the butter with some bacon grease that I have. Because it adds, this adds amazing flavor to cookies. Add a little bit of this for a depth of flavor. Some almond extract, since I think these are supposed to taste more like almonds and some butterscotch chips in addition to my regular chocolate. And we'll let you know how this batch turns out. So this is batch number one and the rest of batch number one as followed by the recipe out of the oven. Uh, they don't look as flat as the uh, pictures, but they do look like cookies. So batch number two came out a little taller. I left out a tablespoon of oil by accident. We will uh, fix that try it in the truck. Just occurred to me, maybe I should leave them in the sun on the dash. We could try this. It's probably hotter up there. Well, I guess it's almost 150. There you guys go. So it looks like the temperature is about 160 degrees and they're definitely cooking. We're at the 15 minute mark, so I'll come check them in another 15 minutes. Quite a bit later in the afternoon here, uh, the cookies don't look like they fully cooked. But when I was just in here poking them, um, they're not liquid anymore, so I think we're close. We'll see. Alright, this is it. The test of truth. I'm mildly disappointed that my truck doesn't smell overwhelmingly of cookies. Still smells like that shrimp fish bait that I left in here about eight years ago. Oh yeah, that's done. I assume. Well, I guess I'll take them into the house and see how these set up. 